Hi, welcome to the Straw Bale Minute. I'm Andrew Morrison, and today we're going to talk about uh, the climates in which to build straw bale homes. Now, straw bale homes are ideal for dry climates, obviously, for climates that have high heat or uh, low temperatures, uh, and it's really important to have a, vari a variation of temperatures. Uh, for example, if you live in the desert where it gets really hot during the day, uh, the, the, the key to straw bale is having cool nights so that you can open your windows at night, allow the cool air to circulate in, and then close the windows up early in the morning. That way you don't need an air conditioning system, which makes them extremely efficient. Now one place where they're a little bit trickier is in climates where it's moist, if you're in very humid climates. Because with rain, for example, which I wouldn't consider humidity, I would consider that rain, uh, that you can keep off of the home. You can do large overhangs, and you can design so that uh, the water is kept away from the bale walls. With extreme humidity, however, that humidity is going to pervade everything. It's going to get into the walls some way just by being constantly in the air. Uh, it's just sort of the laws of, of chemistry that, that it will get into the bales. So if you're living in a high humid area, you may want to consider not doing straw bale. If you're really stuck on straw bale and you want to do it, then I would suggest you use some kind of mechanical system like a dehumidifier inside the home that will keep the inside air dry. And now basically you have the potential of still getting moisture into the bales, but it's not a constant moisture that's going to be sitting there and just festering in the bales. You'll be, you'll be moving it through by pulling it out to the dehumidifier and dumping the moisture out of the house. Uh, that's my suggestion to, if you really want to build in a high humid area. Again, rainy areas, dry areas, hot areas, cold areas, those are all fine. The, the, the hardest part is a tropical high humidity area. And again, there are ways to, to deal with that, like I've just said, but it's not the best climate to work in. So if you do live in a humid area, you may want to consider another style of building.